It's day 90 plus 20. 110. Good. Here we go. Uh, you're going to miss out French horn today. We'll just do a quick little thing on here and then get cracking with some trumpet. <laughs> right, here's the it had to be you. <laughs> Carrying right along, enough messing around. Uh, where's this gone? My see my forms. The trouble with this is I've got to click through to get to the right page. Right, well, that's catching up. Let's do our B flat minor scale, my old friend. <laughs> Got to no. 
That one looks familiar, so it must be on. I don't recognize that one. 15. What does this one say? Stress the note on the strong beat immediately following the two semiquavers, but avoid overstressing the first of the semiquavers. Yeah, you heard them. Oh. Speed 96. It's interesting, starting with that kind of pentatonic thing. <laughs> Caught me by surprise, and then it goes all classical, as, as, you, as per usual. Uh, but yeah, enjoyed it for a second. <laughs> Just the dissonance between that one. Getting warm again. Wear the shirt. What's going on? Okay, uh, let's go 16. This one is Allegro Vivo, 152. One, two, three, one, two, three, ah! Oh. Okay, so here's where I'd say this is badly written. So, ooh, let's try and show it off, shall we? So we've got, we're doing this one. Whoop. Middle one, 16. Can I balance some points? 3 8, 3 quavers per bar. Our speed, oop. Ugh. The speed, 152 crotchets per minute. So we're counting. That's the speed. 1, 2, 3. Or, as I suspect, one two three one two three one two three one two three one two three. Well, that's fast. One two three one two three one two three one two three one two three. I mean, that would be quite vivo. I'll just go. I'll just pick a speed. Maxime Alphonse has let me down. Or should it be the Quavers, which would... Obviously, no, my metronome isn't four, which is obviously wrong anyway. Now... Oh, 
Kende Ole Costa. That's weird, but that, I suppose that, uh, if crotchets were 152, that seems about the right speed. As in, that speed I just played was the crotchets are 152. But why would you put the crotchets for 338? Three, three, That's bizarre. to fingering so using that that high e rather than doing open doing that one in there um just so that then all that last arpeggio thing you'd have to move anything french horns teach me some stuff uh right uh let's roll onwards i can't say i enjoyed that one right this one if the opposite end of the spectrum is 54 on the crotchets but we are actually in 4-4 four, four, so. Still an A major. <laughs> Two with only three beats in the first bar. What is going on? <laughs> Start on the right note, why not? That's me. Uh, let's just do that. And the one interesting bit. Didn't my lips didn't like the E the F sharp. I haven't really done a lot of that high F sharp. Start on the right note.
That will do it. Right. That'll do for that. Let's just do a quick bit of looping back round. We're back on Flemin study for Grady 5 stuff. Grady 5. What is going on? My brain is melting. All right, one quick run. Should be all we need. Just get my oh, breath in the right place. Breath's in the right place, hopefully. <laughs> frustrating now that it's closer because when I confuse myself or miss like miss the fingerings or whatever just like why I know same as any other instrument but I'm finally hitting that point on trumpet <laughs> to do for today budging on we've got some big band music to do we've got some timetables to sort we've got some emails to send we've got some teaching to do oh, let's crack on i'll see you tomorrow